This is Richard. Here's the scan result. It's a girl. Elena. Welcome. Another girl? That's what the scan result says. Oh, God. Abortion. No! I can't kill my child! I can't have another girl in this house! <laughs> I understand exactly how you feel. I feel the same way too. Let's give her a chance. Maybe God has a purpose. What, what, what useless purpose are you talking about? The purpose that Becky, Choma, or the other one cannot fulfill? We already yes. have three girls. Three! I want a son! Jesus. <sighs> and your breakfast is ready. Breakfast. I've had enough breakfast, madam. Give me a son, not a cup of tea. Doctor. I want an abortion. Why do you want that? I have three girls. I don't want another. But that's not a good reason to want an abortion. Doctor, my marriage is just at the brink of breaking. I'd rather just terminate this tiny fetus than what the marriage I've built for years without the dream. Oh my God, I want peace. Mrs. Richard, are you serious? You want peace at the expense of another life? 
Listen, if you crumble under this pressure, I understand your husband is putting you under pressure. But if you bond, you are adding a voice in invalidating the life of a woman. You are saying that women are not important. That you are not important. If your mother ended your life, would you be here today? Have you considered the grave impact of women in society? Is it not better to have a responsible daughter over an irresponsible son? That does not mean that all sons are irresponsible. But a responsible daughter is as good as any other human being. All lives are equal. All lives are important. Don't do this to women. Don't do this to yourself. You don't know the destiny that you are carrying. So don't add to that pressure. You have to fight. You have to put your feet on the ground and fight. And hold that life and bring it to maturity. Because it will be one more woman who might change this world. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do it to the unborn baby. You are taking a risk. You are invalidating women. You are adding to the stereotype. You don't want that to happen. Besides, here yeah, we save lives. We don't take lives. So, Mrs. Richard, your life is not at risk. You can't terminate the pregnancy. Don't give a voice to this negative stereotype. To this terrible stereotype. Do you understand, Mrs. Richard? You have to fight through. Hello? Yes, what is it? Only where are you? You're very, very stupid and useless. Next time you ask me such questions, I will send you and those urchins you call daughters back to your father's house. Idiot. Why are you treating me like this? I should be the one asking you that question. Why are you giving me only girls? Give me a son. Helena, I said give me a son. And mind you, that thing you are carrying in the worthless womb of yours will not be raised under my roof. So better start looking for another place since you have refused to get rid of it. Get out of my phone, idiot. <sighs> Jesus help me. Oh God, what can you not do? Jesus. <laughs> Lord, help me a little soul. I know you can do it, Lord. I trust your word. Lord, I believe you can do it, Lord. Help me. Have mercy upon me and give me a son. <laughs> Give me a song! <laughs> I'm gonna get you something on the days of his life! <laughs> Oh, baby is almost here. You mean your baby is ready for delivery? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I have a meeting now. So, call a cab, let them take you to the hospital. And, need I warn you, I don't want to see that thing in my house. Immediately after your delivery, take her to your parents' house. I told you, she cannot live under my roof. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Go help me, go, go help me. Mm, come inside, come inside, come inside. Oh welcome, 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 welcome. It's fine. Welcome, yeah. Thank you. Hey. Oh, yeah, no, There's no, no time to waste time. Oga, okay, calm down now. Where's your wife? She traveled. Yeah. She won't be back till next month. Yeah, okay, now, yeah, now, let me say, enjoy uh, her position before she comes yeah, back you're now. Deep, come now. Oga, okay, calm down. My uh, money first. Your blood to be what? Be coming down. Money cannot be a problem now. What is money? Oga, okay. are you paying or I should be leaving? Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. No problem. How much? Uh -huh. No, no, you come. He wants up. 50,000. Hmm? He wants down. 80,000. He wants up huh? and down. Chassis. 150,000. I don't hear you. Talk again. Oga, okay, I say 150,000 if you want everything. For what? For Agbado. Are you Queen Elizabeth or, or what? Oh God, I beg, I beg. My price be that if you don't want to pay, make I walk out. Walk out for walk out now? What nonsense? No problem. What did I... Oh, no problem now. My transport, make I go. Transport? Yeah, so. I beg. Oh, what's the what, what, one fifty key? Transport? Which transport? Uh -uh. I don't anything? follow you. Come here, so you go give me transport. So I go take go back. <sighs> oh, what is all this? What transport again? Let oh me God. come and drop you. Transport hundred thousand. Give me. <laughs> who is this one calling me? Who, who, no, why, tell me why, why are you calling me now? Hey, Oga, Oga, Oga. Erasmus, I've warned you to stop calling my line. Are you deaf or something? Oga, now, madam, oh. I don't carry madam come hospital now. Don't to say why you want to see you before I go attend to madam. Ah, Oga. You are stupid. Will you get out of my line? You fool. Ah. In fact, you are fired. Hey, are hey Oga, no, now. Oga, no, 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 fire me now. Oga, I beg. I beg. No, see, I'm not going to call you again, son. I'm not going to call you again. Ha! <laughs> For this thing, when my Oga, no, they do it. No good. It's no good. Your wife, they hospital. What did your wife go do you? What did your mother go do Oga? We go abandon your wife for hospital. Hey! My Oga, what did they do? No good, though. You're almost there, you're almost there. You're almost there. Okay. This will be the last one now. Push, push. Yeah, yeah, do well, madam. You're almost there. You're almost there. Now, come on, don't give up now. Come on, come on, don't give up now. Yeah? Okay, your baby is almost here. Your baby is almost here. Your baby is almost here. Now, this is the last push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. The last one, your baby. We have here, just push the last one, the last one. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes, yeah. The last one, your baby's almost here. The last one, push, push. Yes, yes. Whoa, congratulations, man, Mr. Boy. Whoa, God is great. It's a boy. Congratulations, ma'am. Yeah. 
hundred thousand. Yes. Uh, are you flying private jets or how how are you going? No, that will concern you. Give me my transport now. No, 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 no hundred thousand. Oh, what? Is... Yeah. 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 Could this be true? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Me? Me? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, doctor, you sent me a message now. Is, is, is that, uh, was it a mistake or what? Eh? My wife. You are sure? Helena, my wife. A son. Ha! Baby boy. Ha! <laughs> Baby boy! Ha! I'm a man! I know I'm a man! I know! Ah ah! Ah ah! Okay! What is this? Ha! A bouncing baby boy. For me! Ha! My name is secured. Ah, my. I don't know if you should move my corner and talk to me. I'm sure I'm like me, a bonka, a bonka. Hey, before you walk up, my transport's fair. Which chance? Come, let me go. Come on, go drop. Thank you. Thank you. No drop me. Give me my transport. 100,000 naira. Man, come on, let me go drop you. No, 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 it's my time. Oh, God. Ah, 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 Mr. Richard, the baby is a boy. The boy, right? My son. You are a very selfish man. Have you asked about your wife? Do you know how your reasonable attitude has put your wife, your baby, and even your life at risk? Do you know that you are responsible for the sex of your baby and not your wife? Are you aware? That a man is responsible for the sex of his baby and not his wife? At conception, a woman donates the constant X chromosome, whereas the man can donate either an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. If a man brings the X chromosome, then it becomes a girl. And if the Y chromosome, then it's a boy. But men keep putting the women under pressure for the gender of their baby. It is the same case even when they have a delay in conception. All eyes look at the woman and the man doesn't take responsibility. Whereas most times the man can be the reason why there's a delay in conception. Society, we have to do more. Men should stop putting the women under pressure. Stop gender-based discrimination against children. Stop putting women under pressure.